Williams enter Western Kentucky. A very difficult matchup from Conference USA. And there is the first rebound and bucket for Charles Bassey. A Final Four terrific tradition with this program. Yeah, I grew up going to Diddle Arena when I was a kid at Bowling Green. And at the end of the day, both teams struggling Whoa, to score early on, fella. but not on that possession. Charles Bassey, the movement and the fluidity of the 6'11 Bassey. Well, you see, that, that was what I was talking about. Hilltoppers on the drive. Shot was either blocked or altered. Jordan Rawls can't get it to go. But Western Kentucky. Uh, Western Kentucky can slow it down. They can beat you up in the half court. Alabama wants to get out and run. But in order to do that, they're going to have to stop this guy, Charles Bassey, if they want to get on the floor with Alabama. Bruner, offensive rebound, sets up an open three. And that time, Quinterly left it short. Two-point game, under nine minutes to go, first half from Coleman Coliseum. And a travel on the Hilltopper. Inside, and that's going to be an easy deuce for Charles Bassey. Balls caught, what, caught Al Alabama sleeping at the wheel. Flat-footed rebound, count the basket and the foul for Jordan Bruner. Every coach we talk to is the distraction, the lack of continuity, not just in games, which several yep. have already been postponed or canceled. Western Kentucky team, and they're showing that here. A Hilltopper team that's already beaten Memphis and Rhode Island. And Three-point shots, and he believes the analytics in those shots are going to give him a better opportunity over 40 minutes of play. The that he employed and Rick Stansberry has stood with that, and I know you know a thing or two about Coach Kelly, Damian Fishback. No doubt about it. Hey, Kelly was loved by all, uh, in particularly my father, who played at Austin P as well, and a tremendous job that an influence that Coach Lake Kelly was on him. Jit, and they are battle tested as we mentioned. This was a game that was actually kind of an audible. Had Memphis last week against Auburn, unable to. Pick up a win again. <laughs> <laughs> At least the That's, game I've been watching. Yeah, yeah. And that time, a little bit of a bobble of Sims. Banging bodies, kicked out pass. Three on the way is short. And a rebound by Bassey, but a foul first. That's going to go against Western Kentucky by a point. The third all time meeting between these two schools. Bassey gets bumped in foul. Another trip to the free throw line. Fenders. It's always a team defense and so the basketball and so that's where Alabama has to continue to improve in defending the ball screen. Bassey up top. Bassey showing he's got some handle. Bassey <laughs> with a runner. Fella. Charles Bassey at 6'11 making guard moves. It's about Charles Bassey being mobile and a rim protector. Well he's also showing you something else he's got. Can't wait for that one. I can't wait for the final 15 minutes of this one. We have been nip and tuck all the way. And there's Charles Bassey. Have a strong, big Alabama better believe that they're going to attack their bigs on the interior. Bassey forced the altered shot there. His 22nd birthday gets the definite shooter's touch and bounce on that one. And John Petty is way too good a shooter. Nice. It's unbelievable. When he comes off of the screen, they're there. Uh, they're not trying to go over the screen. Alabama has to has happen. Are the other players continue to step up, like you said. And a rebound to Western. McKnight finds Woo! Bassey on the flush. Bassey continues his assault. Big boy Bassey right here in Coleman Coliseum trying to get a double. We're, we're gonna see how far you we're gonna see how far you All go. Right, let me call the basketball game and then we'll, we'll get back to my wrong guesses. Bassey missed the shot, got the rebound, drew the foul. Charles Bassey continues to put on a clinic down low. Struggle bust from that contest. <laughs> so, I'm sure some Georgia fans not happy about that. Hands by Anderson, three on two. Inside, bucket good for the big man Bassey and a timeout for Alabama. They get a chance to reset. Every black jersey is staying attached to John Petty. Woo, what Rejection out of bounds. 
Bassey top floor for the SWAT. You've got the five-star freshman in primo, but Petty did a nice job of back cutting there. He's just got to finish the play. The senior. A one-point game under three and a half to play. Jones takes it all the way. Back iron. Here later in this basketball game. Bassey dives down is. low, and he got it, and he missed the duck. Might have been blocked by Bruner. Here comes Alabama. Every possession so critical here now down the stretch. Strong take and drawing the foul. No basket on the go. We know in basketball we've got a playoff. These two teams hope to be a part of it. Jones had his man beat and then just missed it at the rim. Down to seven. Now five. Going to have to hoist one up. Two seconds in the lane. Missed it at the rim. There's Bassey on the follow. Shot blocked, but did they call a goal 10? It's just what we talked about. The offensive yep. rebound. Oh, the now ball the did not hit the rim, so it will be a shot, shot clock, clock violation. violation. Wow. Uh, and so now if you're Alabama, let's see if Coach Nate Oates calls a timeout. It's risky if he does because Coach Rich Stansberry may come out and change into his own defense. He's not going to call it. But I guarantee you, if you're Alabama here, you want to take the last shot. Over Jones, backing in. Jones to the lane. Missed wow. it, and there's still a ton of time. Seven seconds. Play. What is Western Kentucky doing? Oh, goodness, it took them nine seconds, and they will not get a shot off. Boy, that was a tough possession for both teams. Western Kentucky will hold on to win it 73 to 71. I thought for sure. So they did call goaltend on the previous possession. We were told shot clock violation. That's not the case. It was called a goaltend on Alabama, and Western Kentucky will get out of here with a win. Wow. I, I would love to see another look. Again, we were told that this was not a goaltend, but an actual shot clock violation. Yeah, it hit the backboard and then hit. That's actually the right call. Yeah, it's definitely a goal 10. That's, and, and it did hit the rail, which would have reset the shot clock. So we just didn't know. Obviously, we're not there where we could ask the officials. Yeah. But 